Walt Disney He was a pioneer of the American animation industry. He was born on December 5, 1901, in Chicago, Illinois, United States. His father's name was Elias Disney and mother's name was Flora Call Disney. His father was an Irish-Canadian by descent and his mother was a German-American. At the age of four, he shifted base to Marcellin, Missouri, with his family. It was here that he developed his lifelong fascination for drawing and painting. The family moved to Kansas City in 1911, where he received his early education. Moving to Chicago in 1917, he enrolled himself at the McKinley High School. At night, he used to attend course at the Chicago Art Institute. He worked as a cartoonist for his school newspaper. Soon, he dropped out of school to join the army but was rejected because he was underage. He then served as the driver of an ambulance for Red Cross. Moving back to Kansas City in 1919, started working at the Pessman Rubin Art Studio as ad writer. It was there that he met Ab Iwerks. In 1920, he found employment with Kansas City Film Ad Company. His profile included making commercials from cutout animations. He developed an interest in animation and decided to become an animator. However, finding true interest in cell animation, he left the company to start his own business venture. He offered employment to Fred Harmon, who was his colleague at Kansas City Film Mad Company. He entered into a business deal with a local theater owner, Frank L. Newman, to screen the cartoons which he named laugh o -grams. The popularity of the cartoons led to the opening of laugh o -grams studio. However, financial debt caused the closure of the studio in 1923. Impervious to the bankruptcy, he aimed to set up a studio in California. Together with his brother Roy and Iwerks, he opened Disney Brothers Studio. They invented a character, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit for which they contracted the shorts at $1,500 each. In 1925, he recruited ink and paint artist Lillian Bound. He married her in the same year at the age of 24. Together with Iwerk, he worked on creating a new character based on his pet mouse which he adopted during the Laugh-O-Gram days. The final touches to the sketch gave the world of animation a new character in Mickey Mouse. In 1929, he released a series of musical shorts titled Silly Symphonies. In 1933, he created his most memorable cartoon short, The Three Little Pigs. The cartoon was a big hit and garnered positive reviews. In 1935, he created history by launching Flowers and Trees, then one of the most popular cartoon shorts in color. For the same, he was bestowed with the prestigious Academy Award. In 1934, he planned to come up with a full-length animation feature. People deemed it to be Disney's folly and the mark of his downfall. After a successful training schedule, his high-profile leap of a feature film titled Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs went into production in 1934. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs opened to public in February 1938. The film was a blockbuster at the box office and went on to become the most successful film of 1938. In its initial release, the film had grossed $8 million. Following the success of his first film, he started working on several others, including Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. 
In 1939, he opened the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank. By 1950s, after stabilizing the financial condition of Walt Disney Studios, he started focusing again on feature films. The first to release was Cinderella in 1950, which was followed by Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Treasure Island, Lady in the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty and 101 Dalmatians. A visit to children's fairyland in Oakland inspired him for the concept of Disneyland. After five years of immense planning, projecting, fundraising and execution, the grand opening of Disneyland theme park took place on July 17, 1955. The park primarily gave children and families to explore the world of fantasy. The couple was blessed with a daughter, Diane Marie Disney, in 1933. They adopted Sharon May Disney in 1936. He died on December 15, 1966, due to lung cancer. All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them," said Walt Disney.